Hey guys, welcome to another Tackle Tip Tuesday with Rhino Joe Outdoors. If this is your first time here, I'm Ryan and I'm your host. And on today's Tackle Tip Tuesday, I'm going to teach you how to take some simple supplies that you can get off Amazon to make your own retractable anchor line. Coming up. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that intro and now let's get on with the content. So like I said, you can make your own retractable anchor line pretty easily if you have the right tools. And you know, as always guys, my goal on this channel is to help you guys get outside and do something awesome. And usually one of the best ways to do that is to save a little bit of money. So um, hopefully this helps you out with a little bit of a tutorial on how to make this happen for yourself. And uh, so I used to have one before and this is it but unfortunately after about three two and a half to three years of use the spring on this one gave out so I'm actually gonna repurpose all this paracord and use in my new project so guys just I'm gonna break this down for you and we're gonna do this together alright guys so as you can see I've got all my supplies laid out. I have my old uh, line spool that I've made before because I'm going to salvage some of the stuff from it. I've got a little field expedient sewing kit from when I was in the army. But really all you need is just a needle and some good thread or you can actually use braided fishing line if you like. I've got this pair of grips here which helps to uh, hold the line when you're sewing it. And then I've got my new um, retractable clothesline and all it is is just a clothesline dryer clothesline kit you can get them on Amazon this one has the brand name on it I don't know if that's a sitter or how you pronounce that but basically all it is is a spring and it rolls up this line and the thing is is that this vinyl line is not really good for fishing and holding up to the elements um, so that's why we use the paracord um, to get rid of that but let's get started so re really the first part is is just getting this line out so I'm gonna sit here and we are going to pull all this line out and then use these clamps to hold it once we get to the end So it's clamped down so I'm going to cut this off about right here that way I have plenty of line, line to reattach the paracord if you see this one this one's already done um, you run a couple lines through it through the vinyl cord through the paracord and then you just kind of wrap it so that it's intertwined and it kind of becomes one but we will get to that in just a second alright so got a knife I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to leave about like, you know, six inches or so. All right. So all that's gone. I'm just basically going to redo this um, from here. So we'll cut this off here. All right. So we can kind of get rid of that. All right. So. I've got my end of my paracord here and I'm basically going to line that up alongside of this and start sewing. Um, you do not have to be a sewing master to do this. Um, you just have to kind of have a basic knowledge. So I got my needle threaded here. So basically what I'm going to do is take this needle and punch it through this vinyl and it can be kind of tough but you really don't have to do this too many times and then you're just going to go through the paracord and then all the way back out so once I do that I'm actually going to just wrap this around um, so wrap that around 
go back through again all right guys so you kind of get the idea here you're going to continue running the needle through both the vinyl cord and the paracord while wrapping it around every once in a while to where you get basically a whole one piece unit and it's all attached once you get to the very end you're just going to tie everything off cut off the ends and then once you've cut off the ends of the thread you're going to go ahead and allow your paracord to wind up inside of the reel um, one note is that you want to make sure that you do have enough that left on the outside to where it won't roll back up into itself and you can leave you know a couple inches extra that way that you have a little bit of slack and a little bit of play when you're done alright so for me you just screw the mount into your crate or attach it to your seat wherever you want and then you're going to take that tag in and then you're going to loop it through some deck eyes on your kayak that either lead to the front or the back for me personally I like to lead it to the front that, that way I can put my anchor off the front of the bow once you get the anchor line all the way up to the front of the kayak or the back that's where you can attach your anchor of choice to it I just have a little loop in mind that I wrap around just a simple dumbbell weight and I think it's eight pounds and that's the one that I like to use so if you guys like this video please hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos I appreciate you guys coming out and watching my videos please check out my other ones on this channel and I'll be coming to you guys with more content Hopefully you enjoyed this and this helps you guys get outside and do something awesome. See you in the next video.